Hi ho, hi ho. So I am finishing up the uh, presentation for today. Basically, employee security policies for cybersecurity. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna go over like a lead balloon. But anyways, one of the things I wanna talk about in the uh, presentation that I'll do today is the concept of digital uh, surveillance, audio and uh, video surveillance in a business environment. So we've got all kinds of stuff here, right? We've got stuff about IT marketing, we have acceptable use policies, all kinds of different things, email scanning. And so I think this is a valuable thing to be talking about when you talk about employees and security policies in the modern world of cybersecurity. So I was looking for different products, again, basic, basically something that I can just screenshot and plaster in there. So, you know, I got something that you, for you folks to look at. And that's where I came across this company called SumSub which actually I think is really awesome. This is cool. So one of the big issues we have nowadays in the, uh, the, the remote uh, workforce is basically the idea of how do we verify who somebody is, right? So in a normal office environment, there's a lot of security that's just built into an office building. Somebody has to be physically close enough to be able to go into the office building. If you go into the office building every day, people are going to know who the hell you are. All of these kind of things, right? This is security that is just built in from how we've been doing business, you know, since time immemorial. Uh, the issue is, is when we start getting to remote work, uh, what happens when somebody pops up on the screen, you know, you're doing a Zoom call or whatever else, well, here's the thing, that person can pop up because they know their credentials to get in um, and they know where to go. But beyond that, do you really know the, per the person that you're, if you're talking, that the person you're talking to is who you think they're talking to? How can you verify who you're talking to? And so some sub, uh, it looks like they have a product here. Feeling the double pressure from video identifications, AML regulations are tightening with more and more countries requesting agent assisted video identification. For those who work globally, we have made a flexible solution that is able to create multiple parallel verification journeys with both video and automated verification so you can forget about switching between tabs and permanent coding on your site. And so what's cool here is you can actually give your driver's license, your passport, your ID card, whatever, um, you can actually upload that into their little video surveillance system. And if we come down here, they have this little thing that kind of talks about what's going on a little bit. So automate any process you envision, right? So basically this person is able to give their ID document, uh, then using the system, there's a liveliness and face match. So is the person that you're talking to the same as is in the document? Uh, and if so, uh, then you can do uh, the transaction. Again, kind of the same thing over here. Uh, and so this is an interesting use of of kind of video identification technology and something that is now prominent in the post COVID world. Again, as you're dealing with more and more remote workers where people have not actually met these people in the real world before, many times they don't have actual relationships in the real world before. The question then becomes is how can you verify that the person on the other side of the Zoom call is who you think they actually are? And sub, some sub, some sub might be uh, the way to go. So anyways, that's just a little bit of research that I've been doing. I might actually, uh, oh, I don't know. I might actually reach out to these folks to see if I can do the demonstrations in the future. But I thought this was something you folks might want to take a look at, right? The future, again, when we think about things like video surveillance and all of that, so many of us think about this in the normal office or the retail environment. And so what's interesting now is how can, how can you bring this into your actual IT infrastructure? So anyways, with that, I will give you a picture of Peanut because we know that's what you really want. You really just want the picture of Peanut, and I'll see you all later.